Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, and uh, good evening. Okay, today uh, this week class. Okay, uh, we continue with the uh, the IPD integrate project design class uh, 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 using in, in chapter four. Okay, uh, actually let's 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 uh, look. Okay, uh, what is uh, in the chapter four? Before I go uh, more detail on chapter four, uh, just to know and just to ask you apa kabar, uh, mohon semua berdalam keadaan sihat, uh, hendaknya. Okay, uh, we look this week. What we will consider or talk, I will talk about is. Uh, more on uh, mechanical element design so let me share some notes uh, that i had from reference uh, uh, mechanical engineering design book written by uh, shigli okay let me share Okay, this uh, uh, week uh, uh, we will study on the uh, design of mechanical element. Okay, mechanical um, focus on the mechanical joints. So uh, I will talk only on four point one. That means the title is on the non permanent joint. Uh, and we look further on the screw and fastener. Okay, that is uh, only a uh, lecture on uh, on this suit. Okay, four point one. Uh, okay, we uh, first of all, uh, what should you know? Okay, apa yang perlu kamu tahu? What should you know after you have uh, or after you have uh, learned or hear about this uh, lecture? So, uh, students actually have to know in this uh, subtopic, uh, you you have should be uh, the know the introduction okay the introduction of non permanent joint so this uh, uh, non permanent joint is based on the screw and fastener okay uh, uh, minta maaf lah ada ada suara-suara belakang sebab sebab saya sekarang work from home jadi macam-macam suara ada so we try to make it uh, based on the contents okay the content just you just uh, hear about the content yang interfering yang lain tu abaikan lah. So, uh, should uh, students should know uh, the introductions of uh, screw and fastener that is based on the non-permanent joints. So, from here, you also uh, should know the basics of the type of uh, screws and fastener. Uh, able to, you also able to uh, identify uh, basic knowledge okay of this screw so uh, as i as i told you earlier uh, this slide is based on the uh, shelly mechanical engineering design so uh, so uh, parallel with this uh, lecture uh, i will also refer to the book to the book uh, of uh, written by Shelly, that is medical engineering design. Okay, hopefully uh, this book uh, kamu pun ada lah. Okay, you also have this book in your uh, uh, computer.
Okay. Uh, <coughs> actually, the fundamental operations in manufacture is a uh, creations of shapes, including assemble, where a number of components are fastened and joined together either. So, uh, dalam uh, pembinaan atau pemasangan uh, a part of the mechanical system, uh, there is a variables of number components yang dinama yang diikat faster that and join together so di dalam this uh, two faster and jo or joins ada non permanence and also permanence uh, so uh, non permanence we are refers to the screws nut and bolt okay that is non permanence join for the permanence we can use as a process of welding okay that is permanent joint uh, fastener actually based upon screw trades are the most common uh, use so it is important that their performance is understood and the limitations of the faster fastener assemblies appreciated Okay, uh, okay, uh, screw example, uh, eternally treated fastener generally assembled into a blind treated hole. Okay, that is screw. Okay, definition of screw, maybe, uh, maybe, okay, uh, certain uh, people or certain students among us actually don't know what is the definition exactly, the definition of screw kan kamu mungkin ada yang tak this is screw yang dia menerang, menerangkan tentang screw bolt externally treated fastener inserted through hole and screwed and screwed into a nut on the opposite side okey kalau kalau screw ada of course bolt akan ada okey bolt bolt uh, screw adalah internal trade mana dia screw tu ada yang trade yang tu jadi bolt tu adalah uh, satu shaft yang telah dia ada ada external treated okey ada treated dan uh, boleh dimasukkan dalam uh, lubang ataupun yang yang uh, screw yang lubang yang telah di ada ada trade okey uh, so this is an example that mean this is a bowl okay bowl and this is an assemble part so we join this assemble part together with the main body kita letak bowl kat sini masuk dalam lubang kalau screw yang saya kata tadi part uh, two parts body so screw yang ada trade kita masuk terus ke dalam lubang okay and then uh, another one is nut Okay, not internally, okay, not externally, eh? internally treated fastener having standard traits that match, that match those on bowls of the same diameter pitch and trait. Okay, pip and trait. Uh, uh, form, okay, yang ni saya tak nampak pip ni. Okay, uh, itu adalah nut. Okay, nut is over, uh, obviously that's mean bowl. That's mean of course untuk ikatkan uh, this bowl mesti ada nut di bawah tu. Okay, type, uh, typical assemblies where screw and bowl are used. Okay, normally we use uh, screw and bowl lah untuk kita uh, make this joints uh, for non permanent. <coughs> screw and bowls come in various size a uh, variety of size traits and shapes okay so these are uh, this is much the uh, dizations in treated fastener which promoted uh, interchangeability differences between treated fasteners affect tooling okay example uh, as a as a, example this uh, different uh, screw uh, head size and size required different screwdriver designs. 
Uh, that is why different created fastener effective truly. Kalau screw tu berbagai-bagai jenis, uh, head dia berbagai-bagai dia akan effect tools ataupun tooling yang di tools yang diguna pakai. Okay. So now uh, we, we look on the washer. Uh, hardware component of to use this treated fastener to ensure tightness of the mechanical joint. That is washer. Uh, simple form. Okay, washer. Kalau dalam ni, ini adalah washer. So the washer, the functions or definition of this washer is hardware component. Something uh, benda yang keluar daripada nut bull tu. Okay, tapi dia adalah hardware component. Often used to treated fastener untuk perkuatkan okay, uh, penyambungan tu to ensure tightening of the mechanical joint. So, kita letak bull. Uh, simple form, normally the simple form of washer is uh, flat thin ring of sheet metal. Macam uh, according to this picture lah. Okay. So, the function is uh, distribute stresses. That is the function of the washer. That means some case or cases we have to put this uh, hardware component called washer. Uh, the function is distributed stresses, uh, provide support for large clearance hole, uh, protect part uh, uh, sur uh, surfaces and seal the joint, increase spring tensions, uh, resist, uh, resist in advanced uh, unfastening. Okay, that is the functions of washer. Okay, this is all the pictures uh, uh, about the uh, screw and fastener. Okay, dekat sini tengok gambar-gambar dia berbagai bentuk. Uh, various head uh, oh, oh, sedap, sedap. Okay. Uh, various head stylus available on screws and bowl. Uh, okay. Uh, types of uh, screw tadi ataupun bowl eh. Uh, ada yang dinamakan sebagai flat head. Uh, Philoster head. Okay. This is a Philoster the head okay this is a truss head bentuk dia begini hexagon head uh, philip head okay philip head bentuk apostif uh, head internal head di dalam okay so this one you have not to use a screwdriver but you have to use a elenki type same as this have to use elenki square internal head okay square internal head Okay, and this is an example of the washers. So, uh, A is plain flat washer. Okay. This one is plain flat washer. B is a spring washer. Spring washer, that means it have a curve. Okay, if we look on this side, that means ada curve. So, when you, you uh, faster the bull and nut what happened it will be tekan washer tersebut so and um, C is a, a lock washer design to resist loosening of bull and screw ok yang ni washer yang yang lock washer dia terus lock ok this is a, the apa orang kata ukuran-ukuran lah Uh, definitions uh, ukur dimensi, dimensi for the washer OD is referred to uh, outer dim dimension high ID internal di uh, di sorry dimension pula uh, OD is uh, outer uh, diameter ID is internal diameter ok screw trade according to Their purpose, there are two distinct uses for screw trade. Okay, that means screw have two uh, purposes, uh, main purposes. Uh, the first one is uh, three 
third fastener and the second one is power screw okay uh, definition for treated fastener is uh, similar to a nut and bolt which join a number of components together against by transforming rotary motions into linear motions uh, to it this case the translation is small okay uh, this is a picture uh, how we uh, identify a treated fastener okay uh, first screw and this screw have a washer flat okay so uh, put in to join these two two bodies this is bolt and nut also have a uh, treated fastener treated fastener definition uh, by transforming rotary motion into linear motion so we turn this bolt of uh, screw then it will move straight away uh, linear uh, motions okay from rotary to linear okay sama juga kat sini stud and nut dan treated rod and nut okay power screw <coughs> such a lead lead screw or the screw in the car lifting jet with transfer rotary motions into substantial linear motions or vice versa in certain applications okay so the power screw is a uh, uh, example like a car lifting jet okay so uh, it will give a force okay kalau kat sini kita ada bagi force kat sini ya. and this force will turn the screw linearly juga tetapi it will move okay it will move into substantial linear motion that is power screw so uh, this week uh, or today we will cover only screw and fastener based on the treated fastener and the power uh, screw okay we will look more detail uh, uh, in fundamentals based on these elements trade termin uh, terminology okay before you will know the functions how to use the application of screw as a mechanical engineer you also have a, have to know the fundamentals uh, knowledge based on this uh, trade or terminology of the trade okay uh, as you see in this picture uh, this is a terminology uh, based on the major based on this picture the major dimensions that mean uh, in terms of d is the largest diameter of the screw trade okay major diameter so yani major diameter uh, pitch diameter <coughs> dp is the theoretical diameter between the major and the minor diameter okay ni pitch pitch di antara yang ni dengan yang bawah pitch uh, in between major and minor diameter uh, minor diameter minor diameter uh, or root okay it also called or root diameter dr is the smallest diameter of the screw thread okay Sm smallest diameter of the screw thread okay so uh, pitch uh, pitch according to the picture okay this is a uh, uh, the uh, the uh, keadaan pitch there okay dekat sini so it is defined as the distance between adjacent trip forms measure parallel to the trip exit okay that means the distance between uh, adjacent uh, at the sand uh, the, dis, uh, the, 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 the the distance between edges sand trade forms measure parallel to the trip exit okay di antara puncak ni dan puncak yang itu adalah pitch okay for the uh, trip so uh, sharp victory uh, show for the clarity, uh, clarity 
the creek and roads are actually uh, flattened or rounded during the forming operations. Okay. <coughs> yang ni dia punya sudut-sudut lah. Okay. Dan yang paling tinggi kat sini, kat dia ni, uh, crest. Okay, crest. Dan ini uh, sudut uh, trade angle. Uh, trade angle. Sudut antara trade uh, lurah ni. Okay. Uh, dan ini adalah chamfer. Okay, chamfer. Di antara uh, horizontal dan juga bersudut yang kat sini. Okay. Okay. Um, basically, uh, trick for through or bull have uh, three different uh, type we can identify. That means a single as a standard, um, doubles or the triple threaded screw. Okay, trick ni boleh buat tiga lah. Secara standard, eh, begini, A. Eh, standard, that's mean uh, kita lihat, we look on the dot dot line, red dot dot line here. So, uh, standard, per, uh, dia punya perbezaan tu adalah satu. Kalau, <coughs> kalau dua, okay, double. L dia adalah dua. So, kalau tiga or triple threaded screw, dia akan jadi tiga. So, if we look carefully in this design, uh, the thread at different screw have its, uh, its functions uh, yang sendiri. Okay, so a thread system is a set of basic thread proportions which is scaled to different screw size to define the thread geometry. Which was cellulose, uh, cellulose, Britain British pipe, BST, are just three of many systems which proliferated before the uh, adoptions of the uh, ISO matrix trade system uh, American nation uh, unified uh, trade standard usually mainly in US okay uh, US actually they pakai American national unified uh, square and ACME okay square and ACME Okay, ACME is uh, American company, medical engineering. Okay, we look on ACME. Uh, ACME. Okay, uh, actually ACME ni dia, dia some of the, the apa, trade yang dia guna pakai, pakai pada screw lah. Okay, where is it? Okay. Macam macam ada kat sini. Ada orang cakap American Company of Mechanical Engineer. American Company. Okay. Yang exactly uh, ACME. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> 
Ya ves.
Okay, um, we continue. Eh, sorry for the uh, delay. Okay, um, okay about ACME, we, we I will tell you uh, later. Okay, trade profile. Okay, let's look on the trade profile. So you have uh, you have know about the uh, fundamentals, uh, terminology of the trade uh, for screw or fastener. So now we go for the profile of this trade. The basic profile of ISO metric trades is built up from continuous equal angular uh, triangles of high H disposed symmetrically about a pitch line which become the pitch uh, cylinder of diameter. Okay, pitch cylinder of diameter into where the profile is rotated about the axis to form the trick. So the, dis the distance between adjacent triangles uh, the pitch is so this is the formula for the distance between adjacent triangles or the pitch okay um, so let's do on the picture um, external trade okay ni adalah dia punya ulir dia okay and this is the pitch okay external trade this is a pitch pitch Okay, pitch. This this pitch is two h uh, divided by uh, uh, apa uh, punca kuasa divided by uh, punca kuasa tiga kan bahagian tiga. So untuk kira for calculation this pitch using this formula. H is high, okay. H is high. Uh, the tips of the triangle are transcattered by H over by eight to form the major dimension D of the trade, and the base of the truncated, truncated, uh, truncated by H divided by four to form the minor diameter. It's follow that D1, that's when D1, uh, D1 is equals to D minus uh, 5H over 4 is equals to D uh, minus 1.08P. Okay, and D is the uh, distance. Um, or D is a, a major diameter of the trade. The major diameter of the trade. The trade geometry M profile is a basic ISO 68 profile with strain, uh, 60, uh, 60, um, uh, angle symmetric trade. So the trade size is specified by given the pitch uh, P uh, for metric sizes and by given the number of the trades per inch N by the unified size. So uh, uh, the area of the untreated road is called the tensile, tensile stress area, AT of the treated road. The tensile stress area, that means this is formula for the tensile stress area. Okay, detail of ACME trade profile. Okay, all dimensions are in inches. Okay, this is a follow the United States okay, uh, metric. Uh, sorry, United States uh, standard. Um, C. Uh, UN. And ISO B is ACME 
and a is uh, square that's mean pitch dia punya pitch punya uh, punya dimension ataupun ni square ACME 25 uh, 29 darjah okey 25 degree so UN dengan ni adalah 60 degrees okey itu itu is uh, that is a knowledge basic that you have to know lah kalau kamu nak buat uh, design or you want to determine your your uh, project uh, later okey yang ni bersama macam mana uh, gambaran uh, root dan juga fish dia tadi Okay, trade standard. Okay, trade standard. Okay. Let me show uh, uh, the notes from from other university. Okay, trade standard and definitions. Um, this is notes from Dr. Alahi Gazi. Okay, based on the Shelly mechanical design. So when we talk about uh, standard, just I want to show when we talk about uh, trade standard. So Okay, for for trade, the standard can be uh, classified, okay, into three, okay, into three or majorly, uh, no, majorly, ataupun uh, normally is in two. Uh, that's mean in metric. That's mean ISO. Uh, there are two standard profile. That's me M and MJ. Okay, M profile and MJ profile. Where both have a similar geometry, but the MJ has a round third fillet at the root and the large minor dimensions, and therefore it has a better fatigue strength. Okay, so for metric, uh, if you want to use profile M or MJ, so that is a difference. Uh, metric balls are specific by the major dimension and the pitch both in millimeter okay example this is uh, what we call the profile example m10 m10 it refer to the uh, i uh, metric okay refer to the metric uh, standard where m is profile you use uh, m profile okay uh, 10 is 10 millimeter major diame diameter and 1.5 mm is pitch. 1.5 is pitch. Okay, a uh, table. Okay, look on the table 8.1. Give the standard size of metric ball along with the effective tensile. Okay, we look uh, for uh, <coughs> mechanical engineering design. Shelly, table 8.1. So we go for table 8.1. Uh, refer with the uh, ISO standard metric. Seven, chapter seven, we go for chapter eight. Chapter eight, table 8.1. The diameter area of Posh pitch and fine pitch metric traits. Okay, this is a standard 8.1 table. Okay, yang ni yang, yang kamu boleh rujuk lah. Okay, if you want to use a major diameter 1.62 dan blah blah blah. Pitch ni, uh, pitch for that uh, trait scan and tensile strand area. This is a tensile strand minor dan sebagainya lah. Ini information that you have to know when you want to view a design okay um, so uh, table 8.1 give the standard size metric balls okay and note that there is a chord 
put a coach pitch and fine pitch more threats where the fine pitch has better uh, tensile strength. So another one is American standard. There are two standard profile, UN and UNR, where UNR has a, a fillet root and two better fatigue strength. So uh, refer to these uh, examples, unified thread are specified by the major diameter, that means in inch, and the number of the thread in per inch. So the uh, example, uh, diameter, uh, one quarter, 20 UNC, N is profile, okay, use, uh, coach or F is fine, okay. So, uh, so this is an example how uh, it uh, mentions in American standard, and we can refer to table two eight point two, give the standard size along the tensile strength around and root diameter range uh, area used for the strength loading for uni unified bolts, push and fine series. Okay, the uh, notes that for diameter smaller than 1 over 4 inch, the size is designed by size numbers rather than diameter. Okay, this is a note. Okay, you have to make note about this. A small uh, screw are used for transmit power uh, are square and ACME trip. Okay, we go for 8.2, 8.2, this is for uh, uh, IO metric standard unit. 8.2, this is for area unified screw standard, UNC, at the point UNF. Okay, mm. okay now... Mm. Classification screw, okay, UNS, IOSA metric, oh, yang ni dah telah disebut tadi lah, push and find, tapi kalau dalam UNS, UNC, focus, UNF, find, UNEF, extra find, okay, so a trick pitch, yang ni uh, regarding to the pitch of uh, that trick. For tolerance, class 1, 2, and 3, several variables. Uh, so, the example, how we read the number uh, between the trick. So, yang ni untuk uh, metric units. Macam mana nak, nak baca dia lah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, ni, ni yang, yang tadi. Uh, the information that show or have uh, for table uh, 8.1 for metric. 8.2 for uh, unified uh, straight trip. Okay, information. Uh, this screw or fastener have uh, tensile stress minor diameter. The standard dah kat situ. So, you know the tensile and stress. Kekuatan stress, uh, tegasan yang yang ada dekat screw ataupun fastener tersebut. Okay, square and ACME treat. Okay, this is uh, the picture, uh, pitch yang ada. Square bentuk dia begini. Ni, this is the, the, the dimensions ataupun uh, ukuran ataupun dia punya uh, gambaran for stress and uh, ACME treat. Dan... Uh, D and P untuk ACME trip dalam bentuk uh, uh, diameter uh, dal, dal, diameter and pitch dia dalam bentuk in, uh, dalam unit inci inch. Okay, refer to table 8.3. Let's go for table 8.3. See what happen and what is table 8.3. Okay, preferred features for pitch for ACME trip. Okay, dan this is a yang tadi lah, gambar tadi tu. Uh, P there is a distance between uh, 
gigi okey saya panggil dia panggil gigi ya eh. straight gigi yang pertama sampai penghujung dia ni okey and uh, d adalah dia punya diameter straight tersebut Okay, this slide show uh, ACME trade properties. Okay, so using the standard size, but that means in the market they don't uh, you you don't you cannot uh, you cannot find any other number beside this. Okay, this is a standard number, standard diameter that have in the market. Okay, kalau yang lain daripada yang ni. That means you have to meet your custom made ataupun your special uh, request. Okay, so when you want to design, if you use ACME trade uh, uh, design, so you have to uh, follow the number. Ni ada kat sini lah, ukuran-ukuran diameter dia. Don't, uh, don't make it difficult to design. Uh, the diameter not based on the standard. Okay, gunakan standard. Usually we follow uh, metric units. Okay. Okay, this this like uh, show uh, gambaran the pictures of the uh, trade according to ACM. ACME standard, ACME sub, the square, modified square, so, and batteries, okay. Power school trade form notes all trades so are external on the screw, not on the nut. This, uh, this picture only mentioned on the screw, not on the nut. Diameter M, DM is the mean di main diameter of the thread constant and is appropriately equal to D plus DR over 2. Yeah. That's it for uh, uh, thread. Okay. Uh, we, you know the terminology of the thread. The standard traits, uh, the profile, meaning by the straight and screw. Okay, now we look on the power screw. Actually, what is power screw? Okay. Power screw is a device used in machinery to change angular motions into linear motions. And usually to transmit power. That is known as a power screw. The main thing, it will change the rotations to linear motion. Where can you find family, uh, familiar applications include lead screw of the lead, okay, uh, lead machine, banyak. screw for uh, vices. Presses, jets for cars, C-clamp, vices, instrument material testing machines, machine stool uh, for positioning of tables. Okay, the joy swarm gear screw jet. Okay, yani, um, so try to look this uh, pictures, power screw. So example, we, we made a rotations at the right side here okay kita pusing hat ni right side so what happen yang ni akan terpusing juga disebabkan ada thread gear ni okay thread ni yang yang kita nama boleh namakan gear kat sini so dia akan pusing so the rotation at the right side of the machines will move the linear motion of this uh, shaft okay that is a power screw 
Okay, the types of power screw are the square, ACME, and batteries. Okay, to contrafuted. So, uh, what is the advantage of square a power screw? Uh, strongest, not radius load, hard to manufacture. ACME, 29 degrees, included angle, easy to manufacture, common choice for loading in both directions. And batteries, uh, great strength, only unidirectional loading. Okay, that is the advantage and disadvantage of these three types of power screw. Mechanics of power screw. So, find expressions for torque required to rise or lower a load. Unroll one turn of a thread. Okay, uh, three, uh, thread thread as inclined face. Do force analysis. Uh, a square threaded power screw with single thread having a mean diameter D, of course, a pitch P, a lead angle gamma, uh, sorry, lambda, and the heat angle uh, psi is loaded on the axial compression force. Image that the single thread of the screw is unrolled or deblurred by the exactly a single turn. Okay, the angle lambda is the lead angle of the thread. So this is a mechan mechanics of a power screw. Uh, so the 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 term uh, dp lambda psi then force has been uh, introduced to you for the power screw. This is the pictures how. Uh, showing all the uh, terms that I have uh, introduced uh, just now. Okay, to raise the load, a force P add to the right and to load the load P add to the left. Okay, so uh, see, this is the mechanics or the mechanism how this uh, power screw functions based on the calculations so the rising, uh, rising of the load we have these equations okay using these equations we can find pr okay pr is a force that uh, introduced to the power screw uh, following the load we have these equations and then pl uh, acting on the left okay refer to this uh, picture pr is a right uh, at the left so, um, PL is at the right. So, this is how it moves. Okay, this is how it moves. Uh, the left or ro rotation based on the left or right side. So, it will increase or decrease the load. The torque of the rising of the load using this equation 8.1 uh, refer to the uh, refer to the uh, mechanical engineering design uh, Shelley okay uh, equation 8.1 so we go for the 8.1 equation okay mm 8.1 and 8.2 tells us about the torque required to load okay the torque required to lower the load so when you want to find the uh, top uh, uh, figures or top calculations uh, to raise the uh, raise the load, so you have to use eight point one equations. To lower the load, you must use eight point two equations. Okay, cell locking conditions. Okay. Based on TL, TL is 8.2 equations, is lower. The load will lower itself by causing the screw to spin without any external effort. So, uh, lead is large or friction is low. So, TL will be negative. If TL is positive, the screw is self-locking. So, if you want to make it uh, lock 
or cell locking conditions. So you must make TL is positive. Okay, TL positive, the school is cell locking. So using that uh, information, cell locking condition is uh, greater than one. So noting that these equations, uh, the cell locking condition can be seen to only involve the coefficients of friction and lead. Okay, that is uh, equations or the mechanism for how we can calculate based on the cell locking condition. Efficiency. Um, hmm. that was, this is why we call work from home. Okay, there's a interference to a lot. Okay, that, but uh, don't, don't just uh, uh, hear about the interference, just hear about how and what I want to talk about. Okay, okay, efficiency. Uh, efficiency means the torque need to raise the load with no friction losses can be found when f equal to f so using the equations t o uh, is equals to f l over 2 pi so uh, therefore the efficiency of power will become like equation 8.4 But in the case of ACME or other trades, the normal trade load is inclined to the axis because of the trade angle to uh, alpha and the load uh, lead angle lambda. So TR is become like this. Equation number 8.5. So the effect of the angle gamma is to increase the friction force by wagging action for the of the trick for power screw the acme trick is not as a efficient as the square trick because of the additional friction due to the wagging action okay this is how to how this is how uh, uh, calculations can be made or you want to determine the efficiency of this power uh, screw. So uh, this slide I uh, show how to make the calculation based on the uh, if you want to find the stress analysis uh, using equation uh, 8.6 and 8.7 when the screw is loaded and actually the thrust or collar bearing must be employed between the rotation and station number in order to carry the axis component. Okay, uh, so the additions components of torque is often needed uh, to account for the frictions between the collar and the load. So if uh, FC is coefficients to collar roller, the torque required is like uh, equation uh, 6 point, uh, 8.6. So uh, based on 8.6, uh, another equation is maximum numeral stress stress in, in torsions of the screw body is a is also can be found using this equation 8.7. The bearing stress in power screw is uh, fine by using this equation, okay? Where N T is normal of the engaged trait. Okay, this is uh, the the picture that showing that uh, how to use how to find a stress analysis. The bending stress at the root of the trait is found by using these equations and then the transversal stress and at the center of the root of the root, is, uh, root of the trait is uh, is uh, showing like these equations So in this case, is a trait deformations in screw nut combinations. Okay, power screw trait is in compressions causing elastic shortening of screw trait pitch. Engaging nut is in tension causing elastic lengthening of the nut trait pitch. Consequently, the engaged trick cannot share the load 
equally. So, uh, experiment indicate the first trait carry 38% of the load, the second trait 25 and the third trait 18%. The seventh trait is free of load. Okay, yeah, ni, uh, this is a screw nut combination, straight deformations. Okay, then nak menunjukkan tentang eksperimen yang dilakukan. So, uh, jawapan yang telah dapat lah. So, this is uh, the the mechanical mecha, mechanics of uh, how this uh, power strength based on the experiment has been shown. Okay. Uh, now, we look on the fastener. Okay, sebelum ni, screw. Okay. And then screw will be uh, trade. Now fastener, fastener, uh, head type of bolt. Okay, fastener is based on uh, on uh, shaft ataupun trait yang ada kepala, head. Okay, type of bolt, head type of bolt, uh, normally named as the hexagon head bolt, uh, usually use nut. Heavy duty, okay. Please take note about that. If you want to make your project uh, applications more on the heavy duty purposes, so you have to use this hexagonal head bolt. Hexagonal head cap screw, thinner head, often used as screw in treated hole without nut. Okay, socket head cap screw. Usually more precision application, access from the top, okay, socket. Uh, machine screw, usually smaller size, slot or Philip head common, treated all the way. Philip, that means Philip, that means not uh, uh, positive, but uh, minus, okay, not plus, but minus Philip. Oh, sorry, sorry, Philip, Philip is positive. Okay. Slot of Philip head, okay, positive uh, screwdriver. Machine screw, machine screw. So this is a um, type of a uh, uh, fastener machine screw. So round head, macam ni gambar dia. Flat head. Uh, Philister head, yeah, the fillet, guys, ni fillet, or oval head, macam ni, uh, truss head, bending head, hexagonal head, uh, hexagonal head upset, okay. The hexagonal head bowl. Hexagonal head bowl are one of the most common for engineering application. So, uh, W is usually about 1.5 times normal diameter. Bowl length L is measured from the below the head. Okay, L means below the head. This is straight. This is a uh, head bowl. Head bowl. And W is the uh, apa dia punya kepal yang dia punya hexagonal kepala lah. Diameter uh, dia punya word, dia punya kelebaran dia. Treated faster uh, for the standard hexagonal head bolt point of stress contractions are at the fillet at the start of the thread. At the end of straight root filler in the plane for the nut will be uh, where, uh, when it is present. The thread length is inchy series ball where D is the normal diameter. Okay. Uh, and the metric ball is LT using uh, this equation. Lah. Okay. In millimeters, the purpose of the ball is to clamp. Okay. The purpose of the ball is usually uh, to clamp two or more parts together, that is the purpose of the bowl. During tightening, the first trick of the nut tend to take the entire load. 
okay this is important to remember to know but the but yielding occur when some threatening due to the cool work that take place and the load is eventually divided over uh, about three nut threads okay remember eh, during tightening this is this is uh, the normal phenomena that will be happen nut first three threads are nut carry majority of load okay uh, locally plastic string in the first thread is likely so nut should be uh, should not be reused in critical application okay so uh, please also take note that means uh, nuts must be not be reused in critical applications because it has a majority it has first three thread nuts carry majority of load okay nuts ni penting semua loads duduk kat situ so kalau critical application jangan pakai nuts tu guna nuts yang yang baru and view okay this is a view and view that in this ni washer face regular uh, chamfer uh, bowl slide regular washer face okay yang ni lah or jam nut chamfer uh, bowl slide jam nuts okay yang ni this is all the pictures and all the uh, units or dimensions of the nuts join fastener stiffness okay Clamping force produced by twisting the nut is called the pretension or bowl preload that produce tension in the bowl. During bowl preload, bowl is stretched. Okay, remember, in grab are compressed. When external load P is applied, bowl stretches further. Members in grip uncompressed thumb joint can be modeled as soft bowl spring in parallel with a step uh, with a stiff member spring this is claiming force produced to uh, twisting the nut okay so uh, so this is happen dia akan tarik dua-dua atas dan bawah if you both a uh, bowl and nuts so if you twist force clamping more forces that being give in this system what happen they are going to do okay this force and other force other dual forces too okay for an for an elastic member such as bull the spring rate is the ratio between the force applied to the member and the deflection product by this force so this is the stiffness con of the bowl is equivalent to the stiffness to two spring in the series. Okay, this is an example how it uh, calculated. The spring, the spring rates of the treated and untreated portion of the bowl in the clamp zone are reflectively like this. So where ALT is mentioned, let me refer to this uh, bowl and nut. Okay, all the all the uh, apa, symbols has been given as in the picture produce the um, produce produce it to find bull stigmas okay this is how we can find the bull sti uh, bull stiffness okay macam mana kita nak cari dia uh, given fashion when uh, light blah 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 okay then uh, washer thickness from table a 32 a32 or a33 that's mean based on the uh, book um, mechanical engineering refer to table a32 okay table a32 okay a32 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 
Mm. Look on the index. Uh, not index. Uh, table A22. Okay, 24, 22. Okay. Okay, based on table A22. Yeah, sorry, table 32, A33. Okay, 32, 33. Okay. Basic Western American Standard Plain Washer. Okay, based on this table. Washer thickness, nut thickness. Also based on table... Uh, A31 gap delivery kat sini for B L okay delivery uh, then uh, fastener length round up using table A13 okay go for the A13 table kat sini akan dapat you can find the L also in metric how to calculate from the metric based on these equations Land of uh, untreated portions in gap, okay. Land of untreated portion in uh, grip, sorry, grip, not gap, grip. Area of untreated portions, area of fastening stiffness. So this is all the question can, all the equations that can be used, all the formulas that can be used in using, using when you want to make your uh, project. So this is member uh, stiffness model compressed member as it. If they are parted spreading from the bull head and not a uh, nut to the midpoint of the grip, so uh, each that has a large one, uh, fine thickness of the type. Uh, okay, bagi kat sini. So uh, A, B, C, all the equations. Equation can be used to find the uh, stiffness. Uh, this is also uh, more than two members for the fastener, so this equation can be used. And uh, if the member of the joint have the same Young modular E with the symmetric fast back to back, then barrel of the tenable content angle is like this. Yeah, bold strength. In the specifications standard for bull, the strength is specified by stating ASTM minimum quantities. The minimum proof strength or the minimum proof load and the minimum strength, uh, tensile strength. The proof load is the maximum load, that means force, that a bull can stand with them without occurring a permanent set. And the proof strength is the question of the proof load at the tensile strength area. So, um, based on the table, okay, you can see the ASTM designation number, size, minimum proof strength. So. Uh, materials okay what material and then what ASTM design designation number so uh, minimum strength uh, tensile strength so this uh, information can be used when you design your project tensile joint the external load the load P is tensions uh, and it caused the connections uh, con connections to stress or elongate to some distance that can be related to the stiffness by the current. The K is defined by the, the deflection. Okay. In this uh, slide, uh, it want to show. I want to show it uh, about the stiffness constant of the joint. Okay, uh, the formula that can be used. And also the resultant ball, uh, ball load is and the resultant ball on the connecting member. 
equations relating bull force to bull tension so uh, bull equation due to the preload can be computed using the formula okay the formula mentioned so the good estimate of torque required to produce a give preload is using these equations where dm is average of major and minor diameter so uh, for torque coefficient k can we use these equations and the torque can be written as this as t k f d i okay bad condition k so uh oh, sorry not bad bold condition using these equations so this is all the material all the non plate uh, dimensions plate finish zinc plate lubricated k okay k torque coefficients that has been calculated and put in the table so you can use again this information to design your project okay this is a bold and revet joint loaded in shield okay yani so a b c d uh, the bending moment uh, that will be happen when you load a joint tool bolt and revet because of the shield the bending stress in the member of the rivet negligible stress so this is a formula where i over c is the section molecule of weakness number of the four or for the rivet or rivets rivets or rivets depending on which are stress to be found okay kita tengok Uh, dia punya bull rivet joint initial okey tengok bull rivet joint initial 457 hmm. bull rivet so now bull strength okey actually this is a this is a book you have to reference is if you if you not uh, understand or uh, you don't get what i want to tell you all about so you have to uh, read yourself based of this equation based of this book okay mechanical engineering uh, look, refer to this book and uh, look on the example bow strength we have to read it all yourself and you will become more knowledgeable okay uh, this is bow strength uh, tension joint for low extension the equation that being used related bow torque to the bow tensions um, and then join with preload okay what happened gasket join how to calculate and bull rivet join loaded in shield okay what happened if bull rivet loaded in shield okay and how to calculate this Okay, this is all the pictures show that the mode of failure in shield loading of a bull and rivetted condition. A because shield loading, B bending of rivet, shield of rivet, D tension failure of member, uh, E bearing of rivet on a member or bearing of member uh, of member on rivet rivet, F shear tear out and g is ten cells tear out okay this is all the failure okay all the mood of failures that happen okay let's look on the example uh, this is some of the examples maybe uh, just want to make it you more familiar with the uh, trade 
and uh, non uh, permanent joint so the, the the cases is based on the square straight power screw okay as a major diameter of 32 mm and a pitch of 4 mm with double threads the given data included f equal to fc blah 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 and then determine number one the trip depth trip width pitch dimension minor and then two torque required to raise the lower load three efficiency during lift and load number four body stress five bearing stress and number six stress bending at root shear and root and root might stress okay this is the uh, pictures uh, uh, telling all the information statements here okay we'll we go for the uh, books okay in books uh, let's find the, the example this problem problem is based on Eight point three. Eight point three. Eight point three. Okay. Okay, this is an example eight point one that I have mentioned earlier so uh, for number one find trap trip width and pitch dimension so uh, from from figure 8.3 a the trip uh, and width are the same as equal to half pitch and also uh, we can just uh, take it from the table 8.3 okay that means go to figure 8.3a 8.3a figure 8.3 okay 8.3a okay 8.3a square trait this one Eight point three three just take from the table and put in the equations, then get the answer. For number two, using equation eight point eight point one and eight point six, the torque for it can be de determined. Okay, this is this is example where you use the square uh, trait. Okay, if you use a c m e uh, traits so you have to use the another example or uh, sorry you can follow uh, ACME equations okay and over overall efficiency also have the formula just uh, take it from that formula and that the answer same as a body shear stress body uh, bearing stress uh, trick root bending and everything okay uh, i think that's all uh, for today uh, this is more on the welding uh, permanent joint so we for the permanent joint we will uh, discuss we will uh, i will be i will give the lecture uh, next uh, week so uh, for this week uh, what I hope what you have learned or you must uh, have uh, to learn that you you familiar you familiar with the uh, uh, non permanent joint such as a screw and also as a fastener. So from here, you also learn about uh, treated uh, fastener screw and also a power screw. So this is only the uh, fundamentals or basics idea for the non-permanent join. Uh, for more information, for more knowledge, uh, as a student, uh, 
you must read yourself okay regarding with your textbook or your books any books that uh, re related to this subject don't just uh, follow the notes come from me or others lecturers but to gain knowledge you have to read based on the books not on the notes notes is only the uh, simplest uh, uh, way uh, for me uh, to give to my students jadi uh, itu saja untuk hari ini so um, seperti yang saya kata sebelum ni uh, jagalah kesihatan kita uh, dan juga uh, beradalah di rumah sepanjang masa so itu saja uh, jangan lupa uh, isi kedatangan uh, untuk minggu ini okay please uh, fill in the attendance and uh, any question you can uh, anytime text me based on the whatsapp uh and uh, we can discuss and again uh please remember your assignments okay that's it for uh this week class based on chapter number 4.1 non permanent join thank you very much and see you later assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and bye-bye.